This is the south lawn at the formal gardens of the palace. And it's another one of my favorite areas for photography, especially when I got this crisp winter sun like this. And the lawn is so vast here, and it's framed by these gigantic and magnificent trees either side. I wouldn't want to be the one that has to mow the lawn though. It's sad that the palace and gardens are closed right now, but I hope I can put a smile on your face and show you a little bit of behind the scenes and what's going on with nature and wildlife. They're just carrying on as normal. And sometimes they make me smile. Nice to see this goose is taking social distancing and self-isolation quite seriously. Morning. This silly goose has been here for days now on this massive lawn. There's a huge lake out there with all the other geese, but no, it decides to be here. Maybe it thinks it's a pheasant. Talking of pheasants, I got a great shot here one day. I saw two just having a bit of a standoff and I just got on my stomach and crept up really, really slowly, got as close as I could with a wide angle lens. Got a lovely shot. They didn't even notice me. They were too busy having an argument. But now for some trees. Wellingtonias, or better known as giant redwoods. They were introduced into Britain by the Victorians, I think. These are probably 25 meters high, but they can grow up to 19 meters. And the oldest one recorded was over 3,000 years old. Just to think Winston Churchill probably sat on this very branch, looking at his birthplace. He gave some of his most famous speeches here on the South Lawn too, with thousands of people attending. Working as a photographer is always full of surprises. And I remember walking along here one day and I just froze to the spot. It was a lovely misty morning and I saw a line of deer walking in the background. So I just slowly picked up my camera and managed to get one exposure. By the time I'd looked down here to see if I'd got it, looked up again, they'd already disappeared into the mist. What a difference a day makes. Totally different atmosphere. Winter is well and truly here now. Everything looks like it's got a dusting of icing sugar over it. It looks beautiful. And as if by magic, the next day it's all gone. I'm gonna see what's been going on in the secret garden during winter. It's been hibernating. The secret garden's been lying dormant for a few months during winter. In the springtime, it's just incredible here. It's an explosion of color and vibrancy. And I'm just seeing little evidence of new growth starting already. Can't wait for the spring. And last but not least on the South Thorn is this beautiful roundel. And normally it's got 12 jets of water that meet perfectly over the top in the middle. In the winter, they turn all the water off in case it freezes and these cherubs don't want to get frozen, that's for sure. They're not wearing very much. Even in the winter, I've managed to get some good shots of this misty background and these gorgeous cedar trees. It is very beautiful. Well, that's all from me here on the South Lawn. I hope you enjoyed staying connected and look forward to my next episode, which is going to be about the lakes and some of the amazing views there in the winter too.